Hi everyone, I'm Hannah. You're watching Netflix Picks by Trending.com. For today's show, I will be reviewing a PBS television special called I'll Have What Phil's Having, as well as a very beloved sort of older film called Nacho Libre. I'll Have What Phil's Having. It is such a cool food slash travel show. It was produced by PBS. And the really unique thing about this show is that Phil, who is mentioned in the title, is actually the creator of Everybody Loves Raymond. I love that show, oh my gosh. Phil, he is the writer and creator of Everybody Loves Raymond, and as you can imagine, he is very funny and very entertaining to watch. Um, but not only is he a very talented writer and storyteller, he loves food. I love food, you probably love food. So, what was I saying? Phil, oh yeah, so Phil is the writer of Everybody Loves Raymond, not just the writer, he's the creator, creator of Everybody Loves Raymond. He loves going around, traveling, and finding different foods, experiencing them, and also experiencing the culture around the food. The cool thing about the show is you get to go everywhere. Spain, LA, Italy. When I watched the show, I was like, I need to go travel and I need to eat all the food right now. The restaurants he went to, were just totally amazing. So amazing and maybe a little bit unreachable that when I went to France last year, I looked up the restaurant, one of the restaurants he went to, and I was like, I gotta go here, it looks so good and the food looks so amazing and fresh and organic. And it's like $400 for like one meal. I didn't go, but it's a fabulous, fabulous show. It's just fun. It's just a fun show. It's great food, a really, really cool and funny host. I would definitely recommend that you watch it. Again, it's called I'll Have What Phil's Having, and it is streaming on Netflix. Netflix picks number two, Nacho Libre. If you haven't seen it, you're totally missing out because it is a Jack Black classic, and it was made a while ago. I don't even know when. Let me just look it up. 2006. Oh, actually, it's not that old but like 11 years. It still is a Jack Black classic, but it's not as old as I thought it was. It was made in 2006, not terribly old. It's about this, this guy who's Jack Black and he works at a monastery and, um, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Nacho Libre is about this cook who's Jack Black and he works at a Mexican monastery, the same monastery he grew up in. Now, he has this amazing big heart and he wants to help this monastery monetarily. That was good, right? I don't remember what's that called. What is that called? When you, when you do the M and the M thing, I think is an alliteration. So he wants to help this monastery monetarily and the only way he can figure, well, you know what? Let me take that back. It may not be the only way that he can think about making money, but it's definitely the most entertaining way he can think about making money. And that is moonlighting as this amazing wrestler. Amazing wrestler. He and his sidekick, who is also hilarious, are, uh, he and his sidekick, who are, uh, oh my gosh. He and his sidekick, who's also hilarious, decide to go and become this team and try to become these wrestlers and earn money that way and things happen. He falls in love with this sister at the monastery. You know, a sister like a nun, but a sister. You'll have to wait and see if they get together or if they don't, I mean, who knows. There's amazing scenes with stretchy pants and capes and um, being baptized. Oh yeah, this is for real. You gotta watch this film. It's so, so funny. I do have to say though, not all of you will probably like this film. If you enjoy Jack Black comedy, you would like this film. If you don't always enjoy his comedy, I think you would still like this film. If you don't like his comedy at all, you probably wouldn't like this film. So, I'm just putting that out there. I don't want you to, you know, watch something you actually don't enjoy, so. I would highly recommend it. It is a very entertaining and, um, yeah, just really funny film. Extremely quotable if, you, uh, if you're into that, so yeah. There's an amazing song in it too. 
watch Nacho Libre. It's streaming on Netflix. So that's our Netflix picks for today. We have two really cool pieces of content. One is a PBS special, which is fabulous. I mean, I love PBS, right? And then the other one is really funny comedy starring Jack Black, Nacho Libre. Let me know if you've seen these films before or if you haven't, watch them and tell me what you think. And I will see you next time on Netflix Picks. Bye.